Okay, so we'll go back to another video. So here we have the definite integral from zero to pi over two of x times secant squared x minus tangent x divided by x squared plus tangent squared x dx. Before I get into this video, um, you feel free to pause the video. So I'm gonna give you a five second warning to actually um, solve it for yourself, but pause the video, whichever you wanna do. All right, five seconds are up. So spoiler alerts, rather if you decide to wait out longer, um, there's actually an easier way to actually approach this integral. What we would do is we were actually going to have to divide, uh, multiply and divide a term, which what we can do is eventually separate it out into different, as a product of functions. Then if we simplify some things a little further, then it actually just narrows it down to just a simple u substitution. And then the integral will be as simple as I can get. So short video today. That's why I ask if um, you guys want to solve this video as uh, quickly as you can, or not really as quickly, but can you, but at the same time, see if you can figure this out yourself before you get into the meat of this video. So with that out of the way, why don't we actually just jump right in? So we have the integral from zero to pi over two, and um, I'm just going to write the same thing, the same integrand that we're given. So minus tangent x, and then divided by x squared plus tangent squared x. What we'll do is we'll actually multiply and divide an x squared. And what that does is that we can actually separate this in terms of a product of functions. So specifically what we have, so zero pi divided by two, what we'll have is we have x squared then divided by x squared plus tangent squared of x. Then we multiply this with x multiplied with secant squared x minus tangent x, and then all this being divided by x squared, then followed by dx. So then next thing I will do is, so disregarding this function over here, what we'll do here is let's actually divide x squared to both sides. So now our new integral, or not really new, but a re rewritten integral is that we'll have that this is gonna be one, and then divided by one, add this with tangent square x and then divide it by x square. And the thing is that they're both shared by the exponent two. So let's actually rewrite this to say that in the way it's grouped is that we have the um, quantity tangent x divided by x. So quantity and then square multiply this with x then times secant square x then minus tangent x divided by x square and then multiply with uh, dx. So there's our differential. All right, so now the u sub. What u sub, are we, what substitution are we gonna use specifically? So I think it's plain and obvious to see that I think the best thing we'll use is tangent x divided by x. So we have u equals tangent x divided by x. So then du is going to equal to, so we just apply the quotient rule. So that means in, on the numerator, what I'll have is that this is just gonna be x multiplied with secant squared x and then minus, so tangent x, and then divide this by x squared followed by dx. Oh, this looks very familiar. What we have is something similar over here. So that's the perfect substitution. It makes things actually a lot more simpler. Well, now let's, what's left is now we actually have to change our bounds. So if I plug in zero, we have a zero over zero indeterminate form. But with that being the case, you can always apply L'Hopital's rule as you take that limit. So the limit as x approaches zero of this function, zero over zero, take its derivative from both the numerator and denominator. So what we have is secant square x divided by one. You plug zero into that as you take that limit, then you're gonna get that this is just gonna equal one for the bottom bound. And if I have pi over two, just plug that over here. So what I have is that this is actually going to approach infinity. So that, so then, this, we replace this with du, so that just gets rid of itself. And so we're just left with over here. So one divided by one plus, and then u squared. And then it's pretty simple from here to see that this is a well-known antiderivative of simply being the inverse arc tan or inverse tangent of u. And then we evaluate this from our bounds from infinity to one. So that would mean that infinity, you plug this in, you're gonna get that this is pi over two. Then you plug in one, you'll have that this is pi divided by four. And so do the subtraction and therefore the final answer is just a nice and simple pi divided by four. So with that, that's our final answer to this integral that looks complex, but you can actually solve this really fast. So comment down below, which one of you actually paused the video and actually solve it for yourself before you click the continue button or and or either which one of you actually decided to continue with the video just because uh you know we eat away so yeah that's uh pretty cool if you ask me